Guys, it's Pedro here. We have some huge, huge Trent Williams news. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. And we have some Chase Young news. So, like I said, big Trent Williams news. On Instagram today, or like 20 minutes ago, this is what he posted. A bunch of eye emojis, a praying emoji, and a wink emoji. So, unless he's just trolling, I really don't think that's the type of guy he is. Because he barely posts on social media. So, when he does, I think it's serious. And... Uh, this means that a trade probably went through. Doesn't mean that ob it obviously doesn't mean that he got traded, guys. But it looks like he has been. I would say probably has been traded unless something doesn't fall through and uh, the terms aren't agreed upon. But I do think he got traded. We'll hear about the uh, compensation later. I will make a video if that comes out today or if it comes out tomorrow. But this is huge, huge, huge news, and I'm going to be talking about the Chase Young news a little bit later. But if Trent Williams got traded, the teams I would look out for that he got traded to, number one on my radar, Browns, two Vikings, three Seahawks, and then you can throw in the Bucks there. So I am just so happy this is finally over, or it looks like it is finally over. If you guys don't think that this means anything, then that's fine. But I really do think that him saying this really means that he, this is, yeah, 30 minutes ago. He, it's it's right when uh, the trade rumors are going around. It's 20, one day before the draft, right when all these trade rumors are going around, and he posts this. Also, he, I know this is like a bunch of weird stuff, like, oh, it doesn't mean anything, but he followed Odell Beckham Jr., uh, Baker Mayfield, and a few other Browns players today and before, way before. So I think he wants to go to the Browns. That doesn't really matter. But if you look... At the Browns, they have, we'll look at some possible players, David Njoku and others, and I'll look at their picks so I can show you guys. But the Chase Young news is that uh, the, the Falcons called and tried to get the number two overall pick. So they were probably trying to get Chase Young, and they called the Redskins, and the, uh, according to Jay Glazer, and the Redskins did not entertain any of the trading off, their trade offers, and decided to, or at least for now, are deciding to stay with that number two pick, which of course is great. If the Redskins can get trade Jay, or not trade, trade Jay Glazer, if they can trade Trent Williams for a second and draft Chase Young, oh my God, that's the dream draft because you get a pick in every round and you get the best player available and you get a high pick in every round. That's just, if we can get that, maybe get a mid-second round pick. The Browns have the 41st overall pick, which is really high but I don't know what the Falcons were going to give up they have been aggressive in the past and I think the one of the reasons this didn't probably uh, happen is because the Falcons don't have any picks have many picks this year and I don't think the Redskins wanted to have uh, picks in the future like I think that they're fine with a couple picks in the future but they don't want the majority of their picks coming in the future so I'm happy about that happy about the Trent Williams news really looking for the Browns Maybe the Broncos, but Browns, Vikings, and Seahawks are the teams to look out for. They all have, except for the Browns, they have uh, late second round picks or late third round picks. So we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I really do think um, he's going to get traded tonight. I think he... I think stuff's in place already. I think it just depends on how the draft goes down and depending on who gets picked where, then that could depend on his trade offer or the trade agreement. But I think ultimately he's going to get traded. If not tonight, it's going to be tomorrow in the draft. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's for a second round pick. If we can get a third and a fourth or something, I won't be mad about that or two thirds. But if we can get a second... Man, we're going to have a lot of special things for this team. I really think so. But yeah, just stay uh, look out for me posting some videos. If it happens really late tonight, I don't know if I'll make a video, but look out for Twitter. You got JP Finley, uh, John Keim, Julie Donaldson. All these guys are reputable sources. And I really ultimately think that this is going to happen tonight. And I really, really hope that uh, we get a second round pick, like I said, for Trent Williams. And, uh, yeah, Chase Young is going to be a Washington Redskin. I, I would say after everything today, 95% chance, unless somehow we go for 
uh, Isaiah Simmons or something like that. But I really think that Chase Young will be the pick. Uh, even though we saw some smoke screen today about Isaiah Simmons, I think Ron Rivera was talking about it, that he wants versatile players, linebackers. He really likes linebackers. But I really do think, like I said, we will draft Chase Young. And if we somehow finesse this first-round pick out of a team, then I think that um, we will draft a tackle, like I said in my video. Oh, yeah, I was going to go here, but I think the Browns are the likeliest spot. And if we somehow get a second-round pick for Trent Williams from the Browns, maybe let's say we trade back with that. If there's no one we like really on the board, we can trade back a little bit with that second-round pick. Maybe trade that for uh, an, a middle second-round pick and a third-round pick. You use that probably late third-round pick for oj howard then you get oj howard and a second round pick that would be amazing but that's just my opinion so right here there's a couple players on the browns that could be traded state of keep an eye on the vikings though i think that's still a possibility and the maybe the seahawks and jets but i really think the browns are the probably the most likeliest i think they're in win now mode seahawks too Odell could be a possibility, or a lot of people are saying that, but I do not think it's going to be him. Odell is uh, really expensive and kind of is off the field, not off the field issues, but locker room issues. He's a great player, though. Uh, don't get me wrong about it. But yeah, Denzel Ward, maybe I really doubt it. And then you got the guy that we all like, David Njoku, who maybe if you can get David Njoku in a third round pick, oh my gosh. If you get David Njoku in a third round pick, that that will I'll be ecstatic because you get a tight end that can start for you guys for us and a third round pick which is not a low one. They have the tenth overall or tenth or eleventh pick in each round, so I think this could definitely happen. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay stay tuned and uh, like I said, there's still 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 a possibility for this uh, all these trades like the trade for the. Uh, Falcons trading up for us. I still doubt it, but they, uh, Jay Glazer and others reported that we aren't entertaining any offers. Again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned, guys. One more day, less than 24 hours until a draft. Stay blessed. I'm going to be posting videos tomorrow, every uh, pick we get for the next couple of days. Peace.